Make sure if you guys have any questions throughout the live that you just place it down below. I will be answering them um, as we, uh, you know, continue on and go forward. Don't worry. Um, and if I don't get to your questions, um, I'll just definitely send me an inbox and we can chit chat and uh, talk a little bit later. Um, but uh, other than that, I guess we can get the show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. So today we're going to be talking about photo shoots. Uh, one of the photo shoots are happening this weekend. Um, this is not my photo shoot. I'm not sponsoring it. Um, I was invited uh, to come to the shoot. So if there are any models available in the New York City area, we are doing a shoot in Yonkers. Please send me an inbox after this live so you can get the full details of what's happening with this shoot. Um, but we're definitely going to be talking about how to get ready for a shoot, what you need to bring, how you need to eat, what's going to happen, how do you even submit to it, just everything all about photo shoots from the top to the bottom. But before we get started into that, you know what we have to do. There's only, there's only one thing that we have to do, and that's making sure that we show love to our sponsors, the house. Woo! And our sponsor of the house today, of course, we love him, <laughs> is John Money. Um, he sent us these beautiful, beautiful uh, Shea and Mango Orchard body butters. These are really, really good. Um, he does also uh, supply spoons, so you don't have to get your hands all crazy. Um, they just scoop them up and you uh, mm -hmm. use the body butter. And you use I all like using my hands because I love getting it all over my hands. I put it all it. over everywhere. I, put on, I actually, I had my my face was really irritated and dry at the beginning of the summertime. Mm -hmm. I always that transition winter summer summer winter. I always get that dryness, and since I've been using the uh, the creams here, the butter, the body butters. Yeah. It's that dryness has, has gone away significantly. So thank mm -hmm. you, Job Money. We love it. Don't forget to order and get your 10% off on your next purchase. So definitely make sure you check it out. If you have hair, check out Job Money's body butter line. They have a mango butter and a shea butter formula that is like no other. A smooth, organic butter that no one ever thought to use with rich essential oils combined to create a mango butter line made for kings and queens. This light but airy butter is effective on everyone's hair, skin, and nails. Their shea butter is made with nuts and a smooth finish. Run over to Good Money Texture Professionals on Facebook or send a quick email to HudsonJalil at gmail.com. John Money, hands you trust, products are a must. Also, guys, make sure you guys keep in mind um, that these can be used as emergency candles. Yes. And they have specific essential oils in these creams that help uh, prevent bug bites and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You know, like yeah. when you're uh, like bug repellent, it's like mm -hmm. bug repellent. So definitely make sure you guys check that out. Uh, let them know that we uh, sent you over there. Yes. And shout the holler, done. The bomb. <laughs> <laughs> in the whole garbage in the whole garbage all right all right all right anyway let's get down to business um the first thing that is very very important um when you're uh getting ready for a photo shoot uh you have to make sure that your diet is on point so usually i recommend a couple of days uh before you start shooting you're gonna have to remove any milk or dairy products from your diet um, that's because milk and dairy actually bloats you up, um, and you want to make sure that you have that uh, the best way in yes. the shoot um, not to obscure your body or um, even feeling uncomfortable. I know that um, me personally, I'm of the black descent, <laughs> so most people of the black descent can't handle milk well. Um, so this is definitely a good idea not to have milk or anything, especially right before a shoot. Yeah. After a shoot, if you don't have another gig afterwards, go ahead for it. Go get that latte with that with that cow's milk in it. Enjoy it, sweetie. Enjoy it. Yeah. Um, not that you, you know, 
you still should be eating. I, I wouldn't say you have to constantly be on a diet, mm -hmm. but your diet, it reflects in what comes out in the pictures. So, you know, you don't have to always be consistently strict, but you should be stricter in those days coming up to the shoot so that your skin clears up, mm -hmm. get rid of all that bloating. But you should consistently be, you know, kind of eating okay so that those are things that you don't have to worry about, like, immediately. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I, I definitely agree with that. Like, because, you know, whenever I get ready for my photo shoots, I start drinking water a day in advance, right. two days in advance. So I like I always recommend when you're um, whatever you're drinking, usually um, at least two days before the shoot, uh, water must be in your diet at all times. This is not like mm -hmm. even if you want to go back to drinking soda or drinking coffee or doing whatever. Um, I suggest, you know, on those days, the day before or two days before, remove it from your diet so that your skin can get cleared up. Right. Um, a lot of times the sugars and um, even fattening things like fried food um, can really break out your skin. And you want to make sure that you have um, less embellishments on your body. Um, don't get me wrong. There are going to be photographers who are going to edit um the photos but to make the job easier and for your skin to be unnaturally smoother try to remove uh some of that stuff from your diet a couple of days before um actually getting into the shoot um it just makes life a little easier if you do get hungry my suggestion is always have like in between snacks uh like trail mix uh, different yes. things, but try to stay things with lots like of fiber, M &M, high fiber, like high protein, mm -hmm. but not chocolate. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, you know. Stay away from the trail mixes that have the M and M's and the the yogurt drops. Um, just a, a basic trail mix. Um, if you need any sweets, you have to use raisins. I know it's not the yeah. the best snack in the world to have. Um, but it's really good and it's really helpful when you're when you're getting ready for the shoots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you know, keep that in mind. Good diet should be consistent, but just make sure at least a minimum of two to three days before you're cutting out all the bad stuff. You can binge after if you don't have another shoot, but you know, just remember that that is key. Be a professional. You're learning your craft. You're making sure that this is something we stress on every video, right? Mm -hmm. Professionalism. It shows when you're doing, taking these preparations because the makeup artist has to work harder mm -hmm. on you. Right. You're making the job difficult. They're not going to call you back. Right. They're not going to call you back if it makes it more difficult for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to be professional, you know? So uh, my I the next thing I would talk about would be teeth teeth. Not everybody's teeth is perfectly white, right. but I say baking soda, you know, peroxide, rinse your mouth. You know, there's a way to rinse your mouth properly, mm -hmm. you know, because some lipsticks, they stick to the teeth. They can cause a tint. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to take care of your mouth properly. Right. You know, your smile, you're selling your smile. Right. You're selling your smile in some print shoots. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not every single one of them, but if you're going to a shoot, right, mm -hmm. you might be selling your smile that time around. And if you go in there looking crazy, <laughs> rat and tag, it's, it's not, not good. good. Right. So I say, uh, uh, what's the rinse? It's the, the light blue Listerine, the white Listerine. It's the light blue well, Listerine. Well, I always the recommend these light. two, uh, the blue Listerine. You brush your teeth and then you use the white crest bottle. I know that sounds like it's so much work, but it helps out to uh, make sure that your teeth is white enough. If you don't have the option of that, you can also use whitening strips or those whitening gel pens that you use. But those gel pens, you would have to start using them days in advance yeah. um, for them actually to start reflecting off of your photo shoots and how they would do. Um, like I said before, it's not to say that, you know, 
you can't have these imperfections. It's a matter of making it a little easier on the editing side, um, which isn't really an issue. Um, but as a model, you have to make sure that you take care of some of these things. Yeah, take care of your so body, it take makes it stuff. yeah, so it makes life a little easier mm -hmm. um going forward. Cause like photographers really like that when they work with people and it's uh it's not as much um editing that needs to be done because naturally they're gonna edit photos yeah. anyway. They clean them up and, right. So it's a part of their job to do that. Mm -hmm. But like we said in the beginning, if you make their job harder, mm -hmm. they they don't they don't need you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like the lady who did that photo shoot, that 3D photo shoot there was no models. It was just oh, dancing yeah, garments. So weird, 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 weird. I don't think so. Listen, they don't need you. If, if you guys you. think that I should start my own fashion week, definitely put some hearts. Be like, yes, yes. Do your own. Hey, fashion J week. Money, welcome. How are you? You always come late <laughs> to the party, money. right? Right. Oh man, job money. We just finished talking about you. We at... did. We did. We did say a shout out for you. You you already know the deal. Um, when this live is over, you can definitely check up and, and rewind back. Yeah. Um, but definitely everyone make sure you place your comments down below. If you think I should start my own fashion week, let me know. Time is a ticking. February is getting close. Yes. So if you want me to start out, uh, just let me know. That no sounds worries. the ball. Okay. He said, what's up with the sound? Oh Yeah. Oh um, my! Is does is the sound clear? Can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us clear, or is it not uh not clear at all? Or you're not hearing us at all? Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Is it? Yeah. If you guys are on Instagram, let us know what's up with the sound. Periscope. I can't read lips. <laughs> There's something going on here. All right, let's check to see. I think the volume, see if the volume is up on the phone. No, it's up. I don't it's know what's up. going on. Oh, man. It's your device. Oh, is that better? Okay, cool beans. Yay, that All right. out. But yes. No wonder what our Instagram is usually popping it's okay you no know what it is? it's getting nice outside people are getting booked and busy and i'm not mad at it um i do appreciate it um hopefully you know we can all work together i i'm thinking about putting together my own fashion week um you know just trying out some new things you know i always got a little harebrained idea um but i know that everybody's getting back into the swing of things there's so many photo shoots coming up it's yeah just, it's crazy like if you're not ready it's okay but you gotta get ready, get ready. it's get time ready. it's time to get ready um so saturday is going to be a photo shoot in yonkers um this is a great opportunity especially for new and seasoned models who need to get back into the game and get back into the swing of things because they weren't doing anything during quarantine if you guys have any questions about the shoot that's happening on saturday please 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 Send me a DM, let me know what's up, um, and I'll get you all the details that you need to move forward. Yes. And uh, bring your A game. You never know who you could meet. You know, bring your A game. You know, be professional, be friendly, be yourself, mm -hmm. but you have to be yourself at a professional level sometimes. Actually, the designer that's going to be shooting this weekend, he usually invites the owner of Westchester Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea to make sure that you're on top of your game. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there'll be like small introductions to people that, that can really push forward and put your yeah. career um, on and a different level. They're really down to earth guys. So, mm -hmm. you know, come with your A game, but be yourself because they like people who are real. They like mm -hmm. people who are themselves, they like to see even newcomers, you know, mm -hmm. if, if you're a newcomer into the game, they like that too, because you're hungry. So they're gonna be like, yo, this event is coming up. They, they're gonna call you. Right. You, you guys know that every every week when we do a video, somebody's jumping in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody jumps in, sometimes even afterwards, we get a call or an email or a DM. Hey, listen, I jumped in late, but yo, bu -bu 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 you never know. You know what I mean? You never know what happens. Mm -hmm. And um, 
So this is your opportunity this weekend to get in there, seasoned or new models. Right. Let's get it. We haven't had an opportunity in a long time. So don't forget, send us a message mm -hmm. so we can get in for this Saturday. If you are in the New York area right. this Saturday, we need you at that shoot. Right. Definitely. Um, there will be um, a makeup artist available. So uh, please send me your information as soon as possible so we can uh, put you in certain slots for you to get your makeup done. Um, but please come here ready. The shoot will start at, uh, the call time is at 1 p.m. So you guys have to be there on time. You mm -hmm. already know. Um, make sure that you have your model bags. I definitely have to reshare that link. I put a whole list of stuff that uh, people and models need when they're doing shoots and they have a model bag. Um, it makes life a little easier um, to get ready for a shoot and to uh, do what you have to do when when things happen or they go awry. You're always prepared for what's next in, in the next portion of yeah, the shoot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and those things are important. Uh, You'll be doing a story time on that? <laughs> Probably. You should do a story time on that. Because in the beginning, mm -hmm. when you first started out, mm -hmm. you had a lot of instances where you had to learn along the way really quickly, you know, what you need. I'm sure if you guys haven't checked it out yet, get on Cat's Castings mm -hmm. YouTube. Right. Check out Cat's Story Times. Because sometimes what we do not talk in depth about in these weekly videos, right? she gets in depth with in the story time. You know what I'm saying? So jump over there, subscribe, check out what Kat has to say during the story time. This video will be up there. If you guys miss it, you know we're on all the platforms, Periscope, Instagram, and Facebook. So jump over to YouTube, subscribe, and check out Kat's story time because those details, those little details, mm -hmm. could be important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It really, it really helps out, especially when you're getting ready for a photo shoot. And you, you know, I was always when I just started first modeling, I was that annoying model who had like so much stuff that it was like overwhelming. And someone had pulled me to the side, and they were like, "You don't have to bring all of that stuff <laughs> with you." And I'm like, I always want to be prepared. And most of the time, what would end up happening is um, other models wouldn't have their stuff. And they would end up borrowing mine. And I would just be like, hey, I would be the one with the long, big suitcase mm -hmm. <laughs> coming over, making sure everything is ready, having my shoes lined up. It was crazy. I was, I was a little psychotic, but it worked out in the end because if a model didn't have things, I could always give it to them. I was like mm -hmm. the mama model of everybody. So I think it kind of works out now that I don't really do as much modeling now, but I do more of like management and helping people out, uh, getting uh, these careers moving to the next level. Yeah. Because it, it it works out. Everything that friendly out. attitude was mm -hmm. great because you being prepared for all those fashion shows and print shoots and all that stuff, mm -hmm. being prepared, not just overly prepared, but prepared. When you jumped into the pageant scene, mm -hmm. when that you're in the pageant out. scene, yeah. You need everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. There's things that you probably wouldn't think of that you need. So it was so great. You know, I think you should do a story time on that because right. I'm not even going to have her tell y'all I'm here. Because I'm tired. I'm, no, 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 no. You should talk about, you know, because you did become right. the mama for the models. You know, it was like right. you're helping them out. And it's not a competition when you're on the run runway. It is in a way, but it isn't. Right. You know, you're working for the same designer. Yes, you want other designers and people to see you. You want that designer to call you back. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it is a competition, but in a much smaller way than a pageant. You know, right. and by you helping each other out, she she goes to pageants and helps people. Right. Who? It's a competition. Who does that? Yeah, I've I've always done that. Um, I even gave one girl um a pair of my shoes during a competition, um, and like somebody was just like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, I let her borrow my shoes for one segment, and then we switch, so we would wear different sizes. Like we had the same size, so we would switch back and forth throughout the pageant." And somebody was just like, "This, that's." weird <laughs> because another person would take the opportunity mm -hmm. 
to 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 make sure that person they sabotage themselves mm -hmm. i'm going to sabotage you more right and that shows your integrity your level of professionalism mm -hmm. number one thing we talk about every single week professionalism bring your a game yep do you really want to go to a pageant and be up against a pretty or handsome person right mm -hmm. and they didn't bring their A game by mistake. Right. You want them to bring your A game. This is a competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think that that was great that you helped her out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that goes to show you got to always come prepared. Have your bag ready with the things that you need for a shoot so that you're not running around day of, two hours before. No, you're relaxed. You got your bag prepared. You woke up early. You had a drink of water. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You're getting yourself there early to the shoot. Time, you know, you got to be on time. If you got an early morning shoot for sunrise and you show up after sunrise, you can almost be guaranteed that they're not going to call you back again. Yep, it's true. Hi, Sherrod. How are you? They're definitely not going to call you back. Should I? No. <laughs> ambulance in the building. The ambulance. The ambulance. Professionalism. Yeah, it's Bring so your important. Bag. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your stuff in there, um, your shoes, uh, your wipes. Another important thing I always recommend, even if you don't have like a whole bunch of stuff, the main thing you need to have is the foundation for your skin. That doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. Right. You know, you have to have the right foundation for your skin. Because sometimes, you know, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes these makeup artists don't know how to deal with certain skin tones. And it's not to attack anyone. That's not what this is here for. It's not to attack anyone. It's just, you have to understand that not everyone knows how to deal with everyone's skin tone. Right. And if you have your foundation with you, Hey, listen, I brought this foundation. Do you have something that's comparable to this color? Or if not, you could use this um, on my skin so they understand what's going on. Right. Absolutely. And that shit goes back to what do we say every week? Professionalism. Mm -hmm. A person doing their job and you being prepared is not going to be offended at that. Right. They're going to say, that's right, girl. That's right, bro. We're going to make this. Let's get out there. Let's take these pictures. Right. You got to make things smooth like clockwork, smooth like clockwork. So if you're prepared, they're prepared. All right, I'll use this one. No problem. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. People take certain things too personally, and I don't think it should be that personal. In right. this game, if you're too sensitive in the fashion industry, it's not, gonna spend for you. The, it's not for you. You're right. going to spend a long time crying. People will say the rudest things. Trust me, the rudest, nastiest things to you. But you know what you do? Mm -hmm. you zap them. You walk out the door. You brush it off. Kick the dust off your feet, and you move forward. Yeah. Go on to move on. We to definitely the next one. do. Because there's always going to be uh, a bunch of people who'll be like, "No, we don't want you in the shoot. No, you're not going to do the shoot." Right. This and that. And you know, you have to be comfortable with getting all those no's. Because eventually there will be somebody who will be like, yes, you know, I'm down. Uh, I'll, you know, here's the information on the shoot, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. And you go back and forth with that. And that's just, that's just the part of the industry that a lot of people don't really like. Um, but it's the reality of it. You're going to get a lot of no's before you get yeses. And this is also why every time there's a casting, you have to apply for it. But you have to make sure that when you're applying, especially to a photo shoot casting, um, that you read all the instructions because sometimes they ask for specific photos and they yes. want those specific photos for a reason. They're not going to tell you the details of the shoe until they actually pick you. And that's, it's for safety reasons because they don't want, you know, people coming up in there and being rah, 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 rah. Right. <laughs> that's like going, you know, you work at McDonald's. You forget your uniform. Mm -hmm. Do you expect to work that day? You're not working that day. Right. You came unprepared. Right. See you later. Right. Bye. You hurt your own pocket. It's just going to show you, listen, be prepared on the following one.
Mm-hmm. If you if you bring everything you need, then you're on the money. That means we could be like, yo, we in it. Nah, so <laughs> um, I I would say that you know a lot of times, um. I have seen people just like unprepared for shoots or they have attitudes and they don't understand why the photographer or the designer are asking for certain things. And another thing that you have to keep in mind when you're getting ready for a shoot, you have to have a lot of rest and you have to keep your mind positive because if you're making the environment hostile, don't think that they're going to ever call you back again to do a shoot. Right. It's not going to happen if you continually do that. Um, there's other people that are involved in these shoots and people spend money. They spend a lot of money um, to do these photo shoots. So you have to keep in mind that this is somebody's, you know, income that they're spending. It's not yes. just something that, you know, I'm just going to do because it's not important. It might be free to you or you might be doing a shoot for trade. But you have to also keep in mind that someone is putting the bill for this. Someone has to pay for the studio time. Someone has to pay for the 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 photographer the makeup artist to be there the the clothes because when stylists pull out clothing from mm-hmm. designers they have to pay it's not like it's a free right. thing they have to pay money to borrow clothes and then bring it back and the payment is just a uh what you call it what do you call it it's a like a deposit it's a <clears throat> deposit that you do when when you're borrowing the clothing yeah it's just to be like oh, okay this is the credit card you're using um to borrow the clothes so if you mess up the clothes you know what's gonna happen <laughs> the stylist ends up paying for all the garments that were damaged right so people have to understand that there's a whole thing that happens behind shoots and it's not just uh, a simple thing right mm-hmm. make sure to check out uh our video a couple of weeks ago where we talked about some similar things mm-hmm. we did if and th- if you destroy if you destroy the garments if you don't bring them back right yeah from the situation yeah if you don't bring them back people are going to know they're going to say hey we don't trust this person and what happens in this industry everybody Everybody talks. The girls are talking. That's right. It's a telephone game. So you guys got to realize mm-hmm. you got to take care of these garments. Even though you're not the one paying for it, mm-hmm. you won't get paid in the future because you ruin these garments. Right. The, the stylist is responsible or the designer is responsible. Somebody's going to end up paying for these things. Right. So we have to always make sure that we on our A game. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm with you on that. Don't forget to jump over to our YouTube. Right. So check out those videos yes. that we talk about. But if you guys have any questions at any time, you know the deal. Place them down below. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that I will always recommend is having your hair clean. Yes. When you're going to a photo shoot. Clean and dry. You have to have clean hair at all times. Do not go to a photo shoot. Do not go to a runway show and your hair is not clean. That is not a good look. Yes. It's not great. Um, it's really hard to uh, remove dandruff flakes uh, from an image yes. when someone is working on an image. So please, please, I beg you. It's not to criticize anybody because I actually have very bad uh, hair and skin, as you can see. Uh, during the summer months, my... Uh, I think it's like eczema or whatever. Yeah. It comes out, and uh, I know that I have to extra moisturize. And even when I put foundation on, I have to make sure I go all the way up to my hairline. Yeah. But that's something that you know about yourself, and you have to make sure that that's prepared when you're doing these photo shoots because you want to be ready. You want to be ready at all costs for what's going on. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. Take care of that dry, clean hair. Go get a deep condition, maybe get a trim. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you're taking care of your skin and your hair. This is what you're selling to people. You're putting on the clothes and you're selling your ability to sell their designs. Um, uh, Vav Vav Visual Shoot. VA Visual, Visual Shoot. shoot. Mm-hmm. What's your advice for agencies starting out in the modeling 
industry? Okay. Great question. So um, if you're here in New York, uh, there's two most important things that you have to understand uh, when starting out uh, having a agency. If you're going, the first thing is, what kind of agency are you going to be? Are you going to be a full-fledged agency or are you going to be a management agency? Right. They're two separate, totally different things. If you're going to be an agency, you need to have what's called million-dollar insurance contracts. That's reasoning being is because it doesn't matter how amazing the models that you hire are. If they miss a shoot, you have right. to pay all that money to whoever plans and booked that shoot. That's right. Because they're gearing the shoot around the one girl that you sent there. Trust and believe it, it does happen. And this is yes. the reason why they have that insurance. When it comes to management companies, you actually don't need that. Right. But it's a lot of upfront work because no one knows your name in the industry unless you've already worked for another agency. Right. Now, back to a regular agency. When you're a regular agency, you have to do what's called development. Okay? There are some agencies that only do develop agent, uh, only do development, and they are called mother agencies. Then there are regular agencies who do development and do help models get gigs and everything. When you're an agency, it's a lot of work and patience. And there's a licensing that comes with the agency portion of it. Right. Uh, there's a particular licenses that you need. So it's all, in New York State. There's only one other license that you need, and it, it's not. It's like a, a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. It's something very basic and minute. The only thing that's really, really important is that. Uh, that million dollar insurance contract because you really, really need that. And that's very, uh, you know, you're going to spend money on yeah. that to make sure that it saves up above. Um, also, I recommend if you are going to start an agency, it doesn't matter uh, if it's a regular agency or a management company, you need at least 150 models signed to you. Yeah. Um, reasoning being is because when you send them to castings, um, most uh, companies will not deal with you if you are not considered established. So you need to send the most girls or guys as possible underneath yeah. your agency. It's a lot of work, uh, but it, it's it's definitely true. It can be done. Um, most agencies, what happen is they have about like 20 models that they put on the site. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are just behind the scene. Uh, but if you guys, if you want to chat more about that, send me a quick DM. We can chat all day about that because I, I, mm -hmm. I love that topic and it's really, really good. Um, yeah, I think it speaks to, like, it, it reminds me in the beginning when we first started out, mm -hmm. every single casting, we were there. Every mm -hmm. single shoot, we were there. Mm -hmm. If they said this and this and that and whatever arrangements we made, we were still there. Right. Not just... Not just to make sure that the models showed up, but you know that was in the beginning when we first started. We right. were making sure that the models were prepared. We brought extra stuff with us. Yeah. We were always saying some some of them. You know, sometimes we tell you to be positive, but sometimes the person is having a bad day, yeah. and you got to cheer them up. And we used to always, you know, we took the extra time to do these things with these models. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the beginning when we first started out, you know. We both were like, oh, man, <laughs> this is a, a lot, lot of work, but well, it worked out. The crazy thing is a lot of agencies actually don't do that. They actually mm -hmm. don't do what's called development or do like hand holding where they're helping out the models for their day to day work. It's really um, that was something that we decided yeah. to do and go the extra mile because we were tired of hearing models having these terrible situations. Yes where they were going to castings and it was in janky areas. People were talking mm -hmm. to them crazy. It was all types of weird stuff. And we just were not a part of it. And we did not appreciate anything that happened during that time. He said, definitely we are doing that too. A positive energy is the best. Oh, so you have yeah. an agency yourself. Let's chit chat. Let's talk some more. Um, I believe that we can bounce off of each other um, and see what's going on because oh, yeah. I do mostly focus on development and how to build careers. And a lot of people, when they have agencies, they get a little upset that um, I want to sit down and talk to them. And yeah. they don't understand it's not to try to steal your models because I don't care about that. Right. In the industry now, you have to be signed to more than one agency anyway yeah. to make it to make it in this, this you know, and, world And as right a manager now. for mm -hmm. Cats Castings, I like to teach my models 
how to manage themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's great. That's great. I, I want to make money forever, but I want you to be successful too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you how to manage yourself because it's possible for you to freelance and it's possible for you to be successful. Right. And this is why we do what we do every week and we mm -hmm. give you guys these tips because we want you to be successful. We want you to have everything that we've learned along the way. And every model that I've ever worked with, you know what? There are things that I show them and they're like, yo, this is great. Why are you showing me this? Because I want you to be successful. Right. It's, it's important because when the, that person has success, um, they thank you and they recommend mm -hmm. you to other people. And that's a good and positive thing. Yes. Like you want to have a great track record on what's going on. Um, but do keep in mind V8 visuals that there are going to be some models um, that you're going to work with. Yeah. You're going to do the mile for them and they're just not going to care. Yeah. They're not going to have any importance or um, they're not going to be concerned with all the effort that you're trying to do. Um, and you can't take it so negatively. Just move yeah. on and, you know, keep going because there's, there's so much talent out there. Like, right. I can't even believe it. Like, sometimes I feel so sad in myself. I'm like, I don't even have the time to help you. And there's just so many amazing people out there. So definitely let's talk. Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes you can't be afraid to just go out there. Mm -hmm. You know, we've all been quarantined. So I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> Right. But I remember at a certain point when we really first started out, I was 205 pounds at that time. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm like, oh man, cat, and I'm going to these fashion shows. But you know what? My style was my style and the way I carried myself. Mm -hmm. I went in there and I said, hello. There was people that I never even thought that I could meet as a manager. Right. Mm -hmm. And some people wrote me off because they're like, ah, this fat girl can't help me. Right. <laughs> but whoever stuck with me, Kat and I, we were able to go to the moon with them. Right. You know? And you can't let it knock you down because just as you go through trials and tribulations as a model, mm -hmm. people are going to say nasty things. It happens to, to us as managers too. But we don't spend a lot of time in front of the camera. Right. We spend all the time behind it. But there's a lot of work that goes into being a manager. In, a, in an agency or a management company. Right. So you got to be prepared. And this is how you prepare yourself for these shoots. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Professionalism, you're learning your craft. You know what goes on behind the scenes and you're always prepared. Yeah. Because it's the time is coming. Each state is opening up. Yeah. In August, we're going to have more opportunities. And uh, you're going to see that we're going to move in the direct in a, in a good direction and cats casting's got has some plans coming up in the near future right. where we're going to be moving forward uh on some new new stuff va visual shoot says we can definitely talk thank you so much for the information yes of course definitely you know make sure you uh send me a quick dm after this um we can get to chit chatting um, I'm thinking about starting my own fashion week. Uh, not too sure. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's a lot of work. So, you know, you guys is, let us know. People have been asking me for years. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do your own fashion week? Are you going to do your own fashion week? And honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I, know. Th I, think, I think we. you will see very soon if mm -hmm. Cats Castings is going to come out with a fashion week. But... For right now, let's see what we can do right after the quarantine. Let's see how you guys do with some of the tips that we have given you. Yep. You know, remember, go back to our YouTube, Cats Castings. Go back and watch our videos. Pause, fast forward, do whatever you need to do. Check out Cat Story Times. You know, if you have any question, leave comments below. That's right. Send us an inbox. <laughs> send us a DM. Send us an email. Um, and we're going to get right back to you. We'll do all that we can to help you because uh, we love giving you guys this information. And yep. you guys better get it before it costs $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> you before know what I'm saying? Before it's too late. Um, but uh, my manager is calling me right now. I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. <laughs> uh, he is 
done and through yes. with everything that's going on. But make sure that you guys send me your questions. Follow us on all social medias. We yes. are there, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Yes. We are there to help you out. Also, make sure you guys run over to Job Money and get yourself some shea butter. Yes. Um, make sure you let them know that we sent you. And yes, get your ten percent off. Yeah. <laughs> get your ten percent off, y'all. Job Money is the best. These creams are good. Yeah. We love but you, y'all. We love you all, and we hope that you can uh, stick with us. And uh, we'll work on some Salir 91, out. send us an in inbox about Saturday's shoot. Please right. Send us an inbox. Thank you. Yes, I will see you soon. And I love you all. Thanks so Thank much, y'all. See y'all later. See you next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>